you know, the first time I watched it, it all went straight past my head and there were so many memories and things and I was watching too many different things that I, I, um, I couldn't really grasp it all. But then the second time I watched it, it just it was so phenomenal. I was, <laughs> I was very happy. Um, I was so excited to see it and kind of unlike Tony, I had been around the whole time when we were shooting but I wasn't necessarily on set the entire time. So I actually only shot for about two weeks throughout the, you know, two, three month period of shooting. So I didn't really get to see exactly what the other sequences were going to look like or exactly what they were going to do with it or anything. Um, so when I finally saw it, I just felt like, I didn't feel like I was in this film. I felt like I was just going to see a Wes Anderson film before everyone else. Um, so it was amazing. And it was it's the only film <clears throat> that I've been a part of where I was able to just sit back and not kind of feel too critical or anything and just completely enjoy it for what it was because it's such a kind of it's the kind of experience that you get and I think any audience member will get it where you just feel completely transported into this world that Wes has has completely created himself so it's very exciting. I find it amazing and I was saying it about Grand Budapest as well that it still feels very Wes yeah but yet it's it offers you every single time um, he makes yeah. a film it offers you something different somehow. Yeah. I play Zero, um, Zero Mustafa, the young protege to Ray Fiennes' Mr. Gustav, which is a great character to play. I was so excited to get the chance to do it. It was, you know, he's a very innocent young boy who doesn't know much, uh, although having hardships in his past. He's fantastically brilliant and... I don't know, he just has this quality about him that makes him so likable. Agatha becomes involved in um, their quest to take back a painting that is rightfully um, Gustav's and has been left to him by this heiress, this old heiress. Um, and she, what I love about Agatha is that even though she knows everything that they're doing technically is wrong, it's against the law, um, this rightfully belongs to him and she believes in Zero and she um, believes in him, Gustav, and she loves them both so much that she will sacrifice anything for them. So she starts to, you know, at one stage they're in prison and she puts little weapons and little tools and things into cakes and sends them off to the prison. So everything's done in this kind of beautiful, kind of benign way. Um, and it's and it's really it's really sweet and their relationship is so lovely and heartbreaking and yeah. romantic and it's got a bit of everything yeah. and I think he balanced it all so well it's amazing the way he just Wes the way he just he built this whole entire world and you know with the costumes the people and everything I think he just made a, a film that um, I'm so excited to be proud of to be a part of and I'm just very happy. The first time I met him I was I was very nervous you know I had known of Rafe uh, before and um, his characters before usually aren't you know M. Gustav but <laughs> but so I, I was excited to meet him and I remember meeting him and I met him uh, halfway through his costume and he comes and gives me this great big hug and I was it, it really relieved all the tension and on set he was always helping me to be better, you know. He was teaching me and, and really much like an older brother would and much like M. Gustav does to Zero. So it was, it was very nice and he was just a fantastic guy. It was so great. I remember the first time I went on set before I had started shooting and I was just going on set with um, the wonderful Malena, her costume designer, to show was um my my outfit and i saw them running through a scene where they were just literally they were pacing back and forth the entire hotel lobby going through their scene well, i was really impressed with tony because he knew the entire script inside out off by heart and it was really really impressive to see that um 
and Rafe, as we all know, is so fantastic. And, you know, the few scenes that I had with him, especially, I think, in the train near the end and when he's uh, on trial, he's amazing. He's so kind of, he can be so poetic somehow um, and funny and sad at the same time. And he's got, he's, what I loved about him in this and why I think he's so perfect for it is that it could have easily have been this kind of caricature almost, but he makes it so sincere and so wonderful to watch, so.